Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be reviewing every free cosmetic in the game. This isn't actually my idea though, and it's my friend's code man VR. Yeah. So yeah, go subscribe to him or something, I don't know. But pretty much, we're going to be reviewing every free cosmetic in the game from all the way like 2021 to all the way over to 2024, which is now. So if you're not already subscribed, subscribe right now. Now let's get on with this video. Okay, first up, we have got the Boo Mask. This cosmetic is the only free hat in the game. There is no other hats in the game that costed zero. And for a free hat as well, it actually looks pretty cool as well. And considering it's for free, this is probably a really good hat. And if I put this cosmetic on i can literally make a whole entire nose this is a really creative cosmetic so this will be a 9 out of 10 next up we have got the snowflake i don't have that much to say about it it's just a snowflake on your face i'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 though it's just a bit basic and now let's move on to the 2022 cosmetic the next cosmetic on our list is the rosy cheeks the rosy cheeks are pretty cool now yes they are basic like the snowflake but the rosy cheeks add a lot more to the face than the snowflake does like come on who doesn't want to blush in the game so the rosy cheeks will be getting a 7 7 out of 10. Think of them as the snowflake, but a lot better. And another cool thing is, you can already buy the rosy cheeks right now at the minute for 2,000 shiny rocks. So, I mean, if you want some sweet cosmetics, then you can get the rosy cheeks. Now, the next cosmetics I don't already own, so now it's time to downgrade. We're back in the Valentine's update with these two free cosmetics. Firstly, we have the party thumb. The party thumbs are actually a really cool idea. In game, they actually look really good as well. And just in general, you could wear these and it'd look good on pretty much anything. So, I'm going to give these probably a 9 out of 10 as well. And next we have the GT1 bag. Not gonna lie, this is just the OG Epic cosmetic. But I mean, it looks decent. I wouldn't personally wear it, but it's okay. So I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10. Next up, we have got the piece of grass in your mouth. This looks really bad. The new update with the new movements also makes it really worse. Because it looks like it's just floating there and it's not actually got purpose. Even before the update, before our mouse could move, this was still bad cosmetic. I'm gonna be honest here. If you buy this in the flashback, don't talk to me ever again. 1 out of 10. The next cosmetic I don't actually own, so I'm just going to rate it here on the spot. This is the egg cosmetic. The egg cosmetic is not too good, and it's kind of the same situation with the snowflake. So just like the snowflake, it's going to be a 5 out of 10. There's nothing special about it, but I mean, it's not that bad. Now, the next cosmetic is the sunburnt face. Sunburnt face is actually pretty cool, you know? I'm going to be honest. I don't know why I like it either, but it just makes me look angry. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna rate this probably an 8 out of 10. It's just goofy, and I like goofy. Now, the next cosmetic is this chocolate bar. This came from the Halloween update, and this cosmetic is actually pretty underrated, I'd say. It's a bit small, but I don't really see how that matters. And you also don't get many free holdables nowadays, so I'm gonna give this free chocolate bar an 8 out of 10. Only because it's a holdable and you don't get many holdables for free. The next thing is whatever these are. Yeah, again, these are a holdable, so you don't really get many free holdables in the game now. But are they necessarily good holdables? Nah, uh, uh. Uh, they're also pretty basic like the snowflake. I'll give them a 6 out of 10 just because they're holdable though. The next cosmetic is the 2023 glasses. I don't really like these. And I don't know, it's just the colour and it just covers your vision a lot. If they were rainbow like the 2022 glasses, I'd be a lot happier. I'd probably give this a 6 out of 10. Anyway, let's move on to the 2023 cosmetic. Anyway, firstly, we've got the GT2 bag. And along with it, we also got the cupcake. The cupcake is really cool. It looks like something you'd get out of a birthday cake or something. At the time, it was Gorotag's birthday. So it actually makes sense. You can also also eat it so it's got its own mechanic and it stays empty as well this is pretty much a cosmetic which would cost something but it literally costs nothing so this is a really good cosmetic cupcake will be getting an 8 out of 10 now the gt2 bad yeah again it's just an og cosmetic like the gt1 but hey at least it's got a bit more color than the other one so i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 next up we have got the poor bad now i don't hate it i just have nothing to say about it it's pretty basic like the snowflake but it came out in the winter update and it does match the theme of winter i guess i'll give it a 5 out of 10 because it's not really anything special. Next up, we have got the alien badge in basement. I'm not sure if this is going to be limited and will be going away forever. Because at the minute, we got the science experiment update, which replaces the alien badge with the poison shirt. But what I do know is, it's a bit big. It's got like tentacles, and you can see there's been an overall design in it. So I'm going to give it probably a 6 out of 10, only because it's a badge, but for a badge, it's a pretty good badge. Next up, we have got the daisy badge. I'm getting really sick of the amount of badges that we're getting for free. But this one seems a bit different. It matches the theme of spring 
pretty well. I don't really hate yeah. it. Just like the poor badge though, I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10. Pretty basic. Next up, we have got the caves badge. How many badges are there for free? Okay, I'm sorry. But there's been so many free badges for free. The color of the badge is pretty cool though. It's pretty different to the other two at least. So I'm gonna give it probably a 6 out of 10. I'll give it 1 extra just because I like the colors better than the other two. Now next up, we got the We Are VR badge. This one's okay, I guess. The Oculus on the monkey's head does not look like an Oculus. It just looks like a white brick that got smashed on its head. But yeah, it's pretty basic though. So I'm just gonna give it a 5 out of 10 like the other one. Next up, we have got the Volcano badge. Another badge. I mean, this one's actually pretty cool though. I like the orange and red color. It represents the volcano from the volcano update. This one's actually pretty solid. And I'm gonna give it probably a 6 out of 10 as well. Next up, we have got the Candy Corn teeth. The only downside to these is the new facial animations make them not look too great anymore. But they don't look awfully bad at least. They represent the update pretty well of Halloween as well. And I like the colors orange, yellow, and white together. This is a great cosmetic though because it's the vampire fangs but for free pretty much. But yeah, this is a really good cosmetic. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Anyway, this is taking too long so let's speed run this. Snowflake badge, 3 out of 10. 2024 glasses, 1 out of 10. Science badge, 5 out of 10. And if you count the developer cosmetics, here they are. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. This video took hours to make and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!